This is a water sensor, and in this video, I'm going to explain how it works. So let's get right into it. First, let's explain what we have here. So we have the water sensor. The signal from the water sensor is being read by the Arduino. Then we're controlling a relay switch using the Arduino to trigger the switch on and off, and the switch is controlling a water pump over here that is pumping the water from this to here where the water sensor is going to sit. Let me show you how this works. When the water sensor touches the water, it'll flip the switch off and trigger this buzzer as an alarm. I'm going to remove it for the rest of this video since it's annoying. And let's put that in here. And as you can see, now it's off. I'm going to turn on the motor, but it's not running until I empty the water. So now I'm going to empty the water and show you how this works. I'm going to empty the water over here. And now our motor is going to fill the water until it senses the water over here and trigger the motor to turn off. If I lift this up, you can see the motor is going to pump more water until this is elevated enough and then the water sensor will turn it off it will tell it to stop you can see if i lift this it pumps more water if i put it in then here it tells it to stop and as the water is emptied then we have our pump working trying to fill the tank again and when we sense the water level it'll automatically shut down now let's go to the pc and give you the code for all the setup and also we'll talk about the wiring now let's talk about the wiring so for the water sensor we have positive negative and a signal pin the signal pin is just an analog pin currently i'm using a1 so you can see here i have a1 for the analog signal from the water sensor Let's put this back here. And here I have two LEDs just for as an indicator. I'm using them on pin two and three. Those are just an indicator to know when the switch is on or off, as you can see over here. Um, this is a relay model. And I have a full video explaining the relay model, but currently I'm just using the same green LED pin three to control the relay model on and off. And I'm using an external power, which is these batteries, to power the motor pump here just for the demo purposes. Uh, really simple wiring here. I don't think it needs a lot of explanation. So now let me take you to the PC, show you a quick diagram of this just in case you need it, and then give you the code as usual. Before I show you the code, I have this quick diagram. If you need it, you can pause the video and take a look. But let me go over it real quick. We have the Arduino. These are two LEDs just used as an indicator. One connected to pin two, the other one connected to pin three. The one connected to pin three is the green LED indicating that the motor is on because I'm using the same pin to turn on the relay switch. Here is the battery going to power my water pump and going through that same relay switch. Over here, we have a representation of our water sensor which is connected to analog pin a1 and of course ground and voltage if you need more time you can obviously pause the video now let's go take a look at the code now let's take a look at the code really quick uh, which i will leave a link in the description as always first we are using the pin declaration over here uh, a1 is for the sensor 11 for the buzzer we have two leds one on two and the other one on three uh, this is the water level threshold. Uh, I find 500 is a good uh, number. If you go a lot under, you will have a hard time having the sensor uh, catching or correcting when you take it out of the water. So, But you can play with this number over here and adjust it to fit the sensor that you have. The water level value is just a value that we're getting used to store the reading and compare it to the threshold. Here is the setup with declaring the serial monitor for troubleshooting and setting the pins to be out. 
this is our loop and first we are doing the analog reading for our sensor and this is our water level over here uh, then we are doing a check for the threshold if it's over or under we are turning on and off the pins as we see fit basically you can turn on the buzzer the led with whichever led you like when should you turn the relay switch which relay switch uh, which pin the relay switch is connected to i think you get the idea uh, by the way i have a lot more details video on my channel about the relay model and things like that in the arduino in general uh, subscribe for more i will leave it here for this one i will leave the code in the description thank you for watching and i hope to see you in the next one